Hey bosses, it's Nina. So um, I just did a live stream on the difference between Facebook pages, groups, and profiles. And so I already know what's coming next. The next thing is going to be, well, how do I create my group? Or how do I create my Facebook page? Or whatever. So in the next few videos, I'm going to create a video series on Facebook. I'm going to talk about how do you start? Basically, how do you start a Facebook group? How do you start? Well, actually, let me step back. These will be step-by-step -step instructions, um, this particular video on how to technically create a Facebook group. And then I'll do Facebook page and then Facebook live stream. Um, I have to decide if I'm going to go through the strategy and all of that and create YouTube videos on that. But um, this video right now is all about how to create a Facebook group. So um, let's jump to it. Um, one of the things I'm actually starting on... Um, I'm starting on my Facebook profile, but I'm going to jump over to my Facebook for uh, basically to the um, how do you create it. A couple of caveats. One, I've said this in a lot of my live streams and things like that. I am, there's a lot of construction next door, moving next week. Um, my microphone is broke and I'm having other technical issues, but I'm going to keep pushing on. I'm just saying that to say don't be mean in my comments and say anything about the background noise i don't want to hear it um so we're just going to jump right in here i'm going to click on the f for facebook in the top left hand corner and on your left hand side um you'll have a few different options these are actually my favorites and my shortcuts here but if you go down to groups on your left hand side okay one, it will tell you all the groups that you're a part of. And believe me, I do not want to be a part of all these groups. People have added me to these groups, so I do have to go in and remove some of the groups that people um, have added me to. You can uh, actually favorite a couple of groups and also recent posts that um, you've seen from those groups. Uh, Discover is a great way to find new groups that you might be interested in. And because of this feature, what one thing I would suggest is when you create your group, make sure you're very descriptive on who should join, what your group is about, and um, what they can get out of it. Because here you can it actually kind of um, groups them, but you can also excuse me, you can also search. So maybe it's social. Well, actually, let's do black hair because that's a good thing that I'm into right now, right? Um, when you do a search, I can actually go to groups and I can find groups that are about natural hair, curly hair, whatever it is. Because they either have it in their title or they have it in their description, it has actually popped up here. You could filter it by whatever, um, you know, people that your friends are in, my groups, all of that on the left hand side. So just keep in mind when you're creating your group, I'm going to go back, that you want people to be able to find it. Also, when you create a group with um, a lot of, um, with good descriptions, um, Facebook can actually recommend your group, which I get a lot of um, people who join the group because Facebook recommended it. Um, you'll notice we're back to the discover part that it tells me recommended groups. This would be based on what I like, what um, comments I make, my friends, just different things like that. So it's, it's suggesting different groups. These are groups that my friends are in. These are groups that are related to my location and also interests that I'm in. Um, hopefully these are, yeah, these are all pretty good. Um, and then there's a lot of other things. So it breaks it down into different groups and I'll show you how to get your group um, in, this, in these areas. Don't forget at the top, there's a um, ton more as well and it's just easier to search through the different categories here. The last tab here is where you manage your group. So these um, are groups that I'm an admin of or that I have access to manage. It's taking a little bit. Um, or actually, yeah. Uh, oh, no, these are, sorry, I'm, I'm speaking out of turn. These are groups that people have tried to add me to. So I can go in here and decline them. This was a new feature I forgot that Facebook added. Um, I actually do like this. I'm going to go in here and decline a bunch of them. Um, and what we're trying to do is over here in the top right-hand corner, I'm just going to click on create a group. So in Facebook, I went to the left-hand side. I went to groups and create a group. 
In your name, if you're a personal brand, I would include the title of whatever your tribe is or your group or your community. And then I would put with and whatever your name is. So let's say this is a um, an, an Atlanta um, natural hair group, you know, hair gurus with Nina Thomas. The reason why I say that, I'm going to turn off all these things on my phone. Sorry about that. The reason why I say this is because if someone looks for your name, or I usually put social, socially, Nina, if they look for your name, your group will come up. So someone may not have known that you have a group, but um, they can find your group when they look for your name. Okay? You're going to have to add at least um, one person, which is at this point, it's going to be myself. But you can also um, start adding other people. Um, notice that now Facebook includes a note. So I can say, I'm just going to add my other profile. I love this feature. Okay. It also suggests people based on whatever their algorithm is that you should add to this group. I can tell these are people that I'm in other groups with already. So that's probably why it's suggesting that. Um, closed groups here. So, well, actually, let me step back. Public groups means anyone can find it. Anyone can see the post, whether they're pub, um, whether they're in the group or not. So public means anyone can see the group, its members and their post. So they can basically see everything without joining. Closed group means, and this is what most of the groups that, um, I'm a part of, or that I've seen. Um, this means people can search for it on Facebook. Um, people can attempt to join, but you have to approve them to join. That's one. Two, um, they can't see the post or the members. And actually, I think they can see the member list. They can't see the post in the group until they're actually a part of the group. So it's kind of like a little personal group or inner circle. Um, and you have to accept people. Secret groups means that they can't search for it at all. So basically what this means is you'll have to actually add people. Um, to this in order for them to get to these private groups. So if you have a mastermind or something that people are paying for and a Facebook group is part of that, um, that's what where you can do secret group. Okay. Um, shortcuts is the thing on your left-hand side. So you could pin it to your shortcuts. I would do that. Um, and actually I'll do that now. I'll go ahead and create it. And just to give you an idea at the top, it tells you other kind of things that you can do here in other groups. Let me go ahead. It's giving you suggestions like based on where you've worked, where you went to school, groups that don't exist that they want you to, or they don't think exist that they want you to create. You can choose an icon. I'm going to skip this for now. Okie dokie. So now that you're in the group, I would actually create an image here and a cover. Um, the thing is, you want to make this enticing. Let me see if I can pull over the Pink Boss Club. If you are a personal brand, I would include your picture there because if people, um, hold on, I can't type and talk. If people recognize your face, um, Pink Boss club, if they recognize your face, they might be more likely to join. And so one of the things I did is I tried to, um, Facebook actually re-centers the image. So if it's in a circle, it tries to find the person's face. So um, I noticed that no matter what side it's on, they do try to find the, the face. So if it shows up like this, but if you look at my pink boss club, I basically have myself. So you can tell that I'm the creator of the group. I also have what the group is called. And then I have the purpose. So if they just want to quickly look to see if it's a group they want to um, choose or join, they'll be able to see the purpose of the group before they even join. Okay. Okay. So to create that, I would suggest using um, Canva or PicMonkey. I have videos on both of those. Um, I'll include links in the comments area. Um, once you get in here, you're actually not done. Okay. What you're going to want to do is under more, you're going to go to group settings. Okay. This is where it gets really important. So, um, in here at the top, this is where the icon, which I skipped, um, is there. 
You can pick a group type. This helps. Um, this helps Facebook decide how to format your group. Okay, so right now, video games and buy and sell have different features than other groups. I'm assuming that in the future that Facebook will be adding other features to these as well. So whether it's a club, event, whatever. Um, so I'll just say this is family support group. It's kind of a support group if it's natural hair, right? Description. This is where you want to spend a lot of time. So you want to include keywords that people would search for. If people are searching for natural hair, natural hair care in Atlanta, black hair, curly hair, natural girls, you know, whatever it is, you want to include those in your description. This is a Facebook group for natural um, hair gurus who specialize in curly hair and um, healthy hair for, you know, whatever. And you just keep on going. You want this description to be very, very um, long if possible, right? And you also want to include, a lot of people include their rules in here. I can't remember if I do, but the point of this is this is searchable. So you want to be very direct in explaining what this group is and what it isn't. Tags are also very important. I do have a um, video on tags and how to select your tags, but I'm going to go ahead and just put natural hair magazine and natural chicks. So people who like those, uh, it's most likely that Facebook will suggest people who like those two that are in Atlanta. Um, they'll do a pop-up and suggest my group. I'm not saying it happens every time, but it's um, very likely that Facebook will suggest that. Locations, this again, um, once I added my location to my group, I started getting more people in Atlanta that Facebook was suggesting to, to actually grow my group. So Facebook is doing all of the work for me. If you have a business page or a fan page, this will allow you to connect based on the pages that you have access to. And so what happens is in your Facebook page, or excuse me, Facebook group, on your right-hand side, people that will now see your Facebook page. If people land on your Facebook page, there is a section that also talks about their community and groups that are related to, um, to this group. And I can't remember where they put it. It was on the right-hand side. So it's somewhere over here, oh, groups. There it goes, they moved it. So on the left-hand side, you'll see all the groups connected to this page. That's also a good way for pay Facebook to suggest um, groups and pages for you. Princess just walked in. She doesn't like that I'm recording. Um, the next thing is to customize your address. Please, please, please do this. I hate when people say, I'm gonna add you to my group or I know where my group is and they have to put in some numbers. If you don't customize this group, this is your URL, okay? And no one's going to remember these numbers, right? But if you have a Facebook group, you should be able to say, go to facebook.com slash groups um, slash Pink Boss Club. I'm going to show you this. Okay. And so this way, this is a lot easier to remember. So if you have to post it in a group or send it to someone, then remembering these numbers, right? So you're gonna make sure that you focus on um, creating a name that makes sense. This is a fake group, so I'm not gonna worry about that. Privacy settings, this is what we already spoke about. Public, closed, and secret. This is where you can set the approval. So I've seen this happen both ways. In my group, I wanna control who can be added to my group. So I actually wanna look at each person and have them answer a couple questions and then um, add them to my group. There's some groups like the YouTube groups or like larger groups, any member can approve. I think if you're doing sales or products or any kind of kind of salesy things where um, it's not, you don't really need a gatekeeper, you can select that, okay? This has been the best feature, one of the best features that Facebook has added. You can ask people questions. Now, I've seen some stupid questions here when you join a group, but my questions are related to, and I'm not gonna give them out. You'll have to join my group to figure it out. Um, but my questions are related to th that person and what they need, right? So make sure you figure out more about the people that are joining your group 
um, cause you might realize that, um, they're not coming from where you think they're coming from, or they don't have the interest that you think they do. So this can be anywhere from how long have you been in business to, um, what are you looking for, um, in this group or what's your title, whatever it is, what's your Facebook page. So you can use this to survey your, um, people as they enter the group. Um, you have up to three questions. Just a little caveat, it does not save to a database at this moment. I'm sure it will change eventually. So for me, I snapshot all of the answers before I allow people to come in. And then I add it to a spreadsheet or I have um, my admin add it to a spreadsheet later. Okay. Um, posting permissions. This is another one. Depending on how you want to run your group, I let everyone post and then I just delete whatever is not appropriate. Some people um, only allow admins to post. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, there's two different ones. This says no one else can post, only the admin. Um, this means everyone can post. The last one here is where you say that anyone who posts, um, anyone in the group can post, but you have to approve it before everyone else can see it. To me, that's way too much work in maintaining a group. I'm just gonna give everyone the privilege and if they abuse it, then I'll go to that. But for now, it's fine, okay? So that's basically it as far as creating a group. Um, your discussions are here, all of your members, your events. Um, I'll do a quick little overview just so you guys can see the difference in these um, from an active group. And then I'm gonna wrap it up. Okay, so Pink Boss Club. So on the left-hand side, the members here, I can actually search through the members right so i can find a member here i could sort it a different way alphabetically or the date they joined see everyone i blocked the admins the members any events that we have going on as well as past events and they do have a calendar now that i love right um there's video so any video that has been uploaded notice that we have a lot of videos most of them are mine any video that we've uploaded to the group is in there. And then you could also separate photos. So if you're looking for something, it might be easier to just do this. Um, they've also added albums. So you can actually sort them or group them. I usually don't use that. Files. So I do use this. You can either create a document. It could be the group rules, welcome, different tips and tricks, or you can upload it. I would suggest uploading a PDF because not everybody has Word or other applications, but I do both. Um, there's also group insights. I do have a separate video on um, looking at the group insights and everything that's going on. And then back to the manage group and all of the settings and schedule posts and things like that. I do love that they've added an option to schedule a post. All right, you guys, I think that's enough. This is kind of a long step-by-step um, -step tutorial on how to create a book, excuse me, a group. Um, I'm looking at my feed. I'm getting a little confused. So this is how you create a Facebook group. I showed you how to search for Facebook groups, how to discover new um, Facebook groups. But let me know below what your Facebook group is. Do not add a link because YouTube will block you. Just tell me the name of your group, okay? Um, post that below. If you have any questions about Facebook groups, let me know. Otherwise, um, I will also be creating a video on how to set up a Facebook page.